Hey YouTube, it's Fixer with Biscuit here, and uh, I had to get a new motor for the press, the hydraulic press, because that one, it's old, and I, I figured it wasn't going to work all that long, so it was worth a try to me. So I gave it a shot, uh, it's not going to work. It clearly, it just stops that motor dead in its tracks. Uh, when you start pushing pretty good. So I went to good old Harbor Freight and got a two horse. Um, it's the biggest one I could get that is a 110. So this is, I'm gonna try this and we'll see how it goes. So let's uh, see what's in here. Yeah, I got the two horse one and Let's see what she comes with. I doubt it comes with anything special. I'm pretty sure it just comes with the motor. It smells interesting. Oh, it's definitely heavy. I think it's 30 some pounds. It might even be 40. It's heavy. So, we got this one here. It has a, oh, it comes with a keyway. That's cool. It actually comes with the key. Uh, seven eighths shaft is what's in this one, uh, which is cool here. It gives you the instructions to be able to wire it differently from 115 to 230 volts uh, which would be 220 and uh, the other thing is is I don't think I mentioned it that okay anyways um, I had to wire the motor that is on my hydraulic press uh, power pack unit whatever you want to call it I had to wire it in reverse because of that's the way that pump pumps is in reverse. So I'm going to have to wire this one going in reverse too. And I'll go ahead and have a video of that showing you. But uh, here is a, I think this is the shutoff. So when uh, you overload this motor, it's got a uh, shutoff here. And you just push that and you're back in business. So it's a two horse, 1800 uh, uh, RPMs motor. It looks to be built pretty darn well. I think here, this plug here is for where the electric wires come through and you just take this plate off and wire it in. I'm pretty sure I'm not, or it's in here. I'm not sure. So I will have to Look at that good, good gobble of stuff. That didn't make sense, but that's all right. It's a two horse, uh, one phase, 60 hertz. Um, it has a 7 8 shaft, which it is, that shaft is bigger, I believe, than what my Lovejoy is. So I'm either going to have to drill out my Lovejoy or get a bigger one. Not sure what I'm going to do yet, but... We'll figure it out. It even has the instructions on here how to uh, wire it so you don't have to keep the book, but I would recommend that. It does not say how to wire it in reverse. Usually you flip the, I think it's red and green. Uh, not exactly sure on that one, but we'll see. Let me grab a screwdriver and we'll open that baby up. Actually, I don't know why I left. I got a drill right here. So, make sure it's going in the right direction. Let's see what's in here. Ugh. Okay. So, yeah, 
Not quite sure on that. They're all black wires. This, because I have to figure out how to wire this one in reverse. I know it said that it was reversible. So, I'm not sure. But anyways, I will figure it out uh, how to wire it in reverse and let you guys know. I'll probably do a video of that. But right now I'm just kind of looking at it, checking it out. So we'll check this out and uh, get her mounted on the hydraulic power pack unit. And we'll see you after that. Thanks for watching.